All right, yeah. Um, what's what's good? Um, I just had a little small piece I've decided to do. Just venting out my frustrations about Trayvon Martin, my issues about race, of this whole situation. I don't know. We all know the verdict. It is what it is. What can we do? You know what I'm saying? Um, personally, I was on the Martin side and whatnot. But you know, court of law. Justice is flawed, but if you really look at it, I can see why he got off scot free. I'm not even mad that he didn't get murdered. I'm more shocked he to get manslaughter in this situation. But I mean, if you can't prove it, you can't prove it. it uh, it's not up to human beings to judge others; it's up to God to judge others. So I'm just gonna let that I'm gonna let that slide. Uh, And in the end, I don't think verdicts could give Trayvon justice anyways. I think the justice would be him being alive right now. I think the justice would be him changing his life, giving the opportunity to change his own life. Because, you know, yeah, he was kind of a wavered kid. He was kind of a stick-up kid, you know what I'm saying, with guns and going like this in his photos and whatnot. But I don't know too many 17-year-old kids who... Whose hands are clean. Mine sure weren't. You know? I can't sit here and judge a kid for whatnot. Yeah, the media probably more likely portrayed everything in this whole thing, in this whole situation, differently than it probably should have been. But what can we do? That's what they're about, you know? And what, what more can we do? Uh, my issue is in the whole. Zimmerman thing is the issue with all this ignorance that is spewed out of people's mouths, you know? Like, I've seen some good, bad, and ugly with this situation. Mostly ugly. It's crazy, like, when people get riled up about this stuff, and you hear some crazy stuff. You get people's true colors. Like, I've heard some messed up things, and I'm not going to repeat this on camera, but it makes me shake my head. Racism's still alive and well, and that's all I'm going to say, but people are going to make this whole Zimmerman thing. Zimmerman's half white, half Hispanic, and Trayvon Martin was black. People are going to make this race because of two different issues, but it's not about race. It's about injustice. It's the fact that this kid should still be alive right now and Zimmerman had a suspicion then listened to police and whatnot and that's what I got messed up on but you know only God Trayvon and George know what happened I can only all I can do and what we all can do is speculate but as long as we are judging other people by the color of their skin and not by the content of the character, like Martin Luther King said, there's no way in the world we are going to be better unless we change our own selves and pick our own selves up. Stuff like this should motivate us to be better, to not let stuff like this happen. But people are going to be like, we need to be, we need to beat on George Zimmerman, we need to do this, we need to riot, we need to go to his house, blah, blah, blah. But what's that going to solve? What's violence going to solve? What's beating this dude up going to solve? Saying all this stuff is going to solve. I mean, violence only starts more violence, and more violence starts more violence than more violence. It's not a good way of thinking. It's not real right, but you can't tell other people certain things. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I try to be as much about positivity and love and all this other stuff and whatnot. Uh, situations like this, it's hard to find love in this situation. But all we can do is be better, lift ourselves up. The people who believed that the whole system with Trayvon Martin and justice is not served, you need to come together and 
build each other right back up. And this is one of those things where it emotionally it knocks, it'll break you down like a tidal wave. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, man, I don't know. And for the people who do believe in Zero Man, I really don't know what to say to you, but I mean, if you feel like he was self, def he had self defense and he wasn't totally guilty or he was defending himself or whatnot, or he made one false move and whatnot, then that's your opinion and I respect it. I don't necessarily, I don't. I damn sure don't agree with it, but you know, you're tied to your own opinion, you're tied away thinking what you're thinking, if it's self-defense, but I see why it's self-defense, like I said, I understand why you feel that way, but, and people who are saying this about black people, white people, Zimmerman's a beaner, all this other stuff, first of all, not everybody who is Latino is Mexican, alright, cut the racist stuff out, Cut it out with all this talk about white people, black people, white people saying stuff about black people being on welfare and all this other stuff. Stop it. It doesn't go anywhere. Get better and not better. You know? Some people just never going to learn. But that's my piece on the whole Trayvon Martin race issue. There's only one race to me, and that's human. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Out.